Hey, I'm Justin Panker here with Klyam. Today I'm going to walk you through our newly redesigned Valdez jacket and Togi bib combination. Uh, before we go into all the little features and benefits and the details, I want to talk a little bit about what our overall goal was with these new redesigns. Um, <clears throat> we kind of have the phrase, um, faster, stronger, lighter. Um, and so our goal was to find materials that were stronger than the previous materials, but lighter than the previous materials. And that's what we've done with the new Valdez and Togedi materials that we're using here. We were using a 600D material. Now we've dropped that to a lighter 400 denier material. So that's a smaller number. You think, well, it's not as tough. In this scenario, it actually is. It's a little bit tougher. It's a little bit more durable. But we've been able to make the jacket slightly lighter and more flexible by using a, a, a lighter material. So um, keep that in mind. That was, a lot of that's based off some of the feedback that we've had from riders and consumers. Let's go through uh, the individual features of the jacket, and then once we get through the jacket, we'll kind of move down onto the Togedi bib. Uh, you'll notice there's a, a completely new styling and updated look. Some of the feedback we got on the previous Valdez is that it kind of had a little bit of an older look. So we've updated the aesthetics of the jacket, <clears throat> gone to more highlights. Um, we've gone to a blacked out reflective material. You'll see those hits in some little areas here. That's a reflective material to give some extra safety after dark. Uh, if, if there's some headlights coming at this direction, it's gonna tell the, the, the person driving, hey, this is, this is a person, this is an offense, it's not a sign, uh, there's, a, there's a human being in here. Um, <clears throat> starting from the top, you'll notice we have a very large pull on the zipper. We do that because we know we're wearing gloves, right? Um, so make it easier to pull down when we're wearing gloves. You'll notice it's also a double-headed zipper, so we can make the bottom piece of the jacket open up like a vent. So there's some, some uh, versatility there. Um, the previous jacket had a chest pocket, both two chest pockets. We've eliminated one chest pocket. Rider feedback was they didn't use them both. Um, and also there's a lot of riders now wearing full vest avalanche bags and it covers those pockets up so they become kind of in, uh, not usable at that point. So in order to lighten up the jacket, we've removed that. You notice we still do have one chest pocket here. And I'm gonna reach inside and show you, we've got this goggle chamois inside, which is a really convenient feature. It's attached to an elastic band inside so it can't be lost. Uh, so we can stow that there. I use mine all the time. Um, moving down the jacket on the, on the arm here, hopefully you can see this. We've got an upper bicep vent. Again, a large zipper pull and then a lower wrist vent. So we wanted to be able to get as much ventilation into this jacket as possible. And the key, one of the things we, we really thought through on this was how do we get ventilation into it and still make it functional with the full avalanche backpack? Because the backpack's gonna cover up a lot of the back area, a lot of the front area. So that uses up some of the real estate that we wanted to be able to put vents. So we've orchestrated and engineered those vents in specific areas that aren't gonna be covered up with the backpack. They're gonna give us good fl flow through the body. Um, this jacket is a three layer Gore-Tex waterproof shell. So what that means is it's always gonna keep you dry. It's guaranteed to keep you dry, but it's going to let the moisture away from the body. If you're sweating, that moisture, that perspiration can pass through these three layers outside uh, because if you're, cold, if you're wet, you're cold. So we wanna get that moisture away and keep any moisture from getting uh, through the jacket to the body. Um, the three layer in this particular is a little bit more breathable than some of the other two layers. So we've, we've kind of thrown the latest high-tech fabric at this jacket. This jacket kind of has all the latest features, including that three layer uh, pro shell. All right, let's move down uh, to the bottom of the jacket here. You'll see we've got a metal D-ring for those that use a tether. Uh, they'll be able to attach that here. Um, and then we've got, there's internally inside this bottom hem, there's a, a, a strap that can be tightened and it will suck the bottom hem tight so the air can't come up uh, and get into the, the chassis of the jacket. I'm gonna try to spin him around here just a little bit if I can. I'm gonna show you the back of the jacket. A Little bit more reflective hits here. The biggest thing I wanna show you is this vent, exhaust vent in the back, one on each side. You'll notice it's, we keep it away from the center where we feel like that backpack's gonna be to allow that air to come through from the front and then get to the back. We've got a little bit of a lower tail on the back to protect snow from coming up. Um, and you can see that strap again, if we're gonna suck that tight, uh, we'll keep that hem tight. All right, we'll spin him back around. 
Uh, oh, one more thing here, too. We've got an adjustable neck piece at the top, and we can suck that in to keep moisture from getting down around the top or air from getting down on the top, so that's adjustable uh, to kind of help uh, keep the rider dry and free from air coming in. All right, we'll pull this jacket off. We'll look at the interior of the jacket. Um, one thing I, I kind of want to note, I've been riding in this jacket a good part of the season uh, in the prototype version, giving feedback, and it is visibly lighter. I mean, it, it's physically lighter. You can feel it. It's more flexible than the previous version of the Valdez. That's something that I prefer. I actually preferred the Stealth before, and so now that we've built these features into this jacket, that extra flexibility is a, is a really big improvement. Let's talk about this powder skirt for just a second. Now this is removable. So there's a zipper there and the powder skirt can be removed if you decide you don't want to use it. Uh, maybe somebody's going to use it as a casual jacket and they want that out of the way. So the powder skirt is now removable. We've got an uh, internal bypass right here. So if someone's using a audio device or a phone, they can bypass that through here with a set of earphones up to the helmet. A um, little trick I learned is if I keep my phone in one of these upper pockets or one of the lower pockets, if it's exposed to the cold, it's going to run the battery down really fast. So I started putting a hand warmer in the pocket with the phone. So if I'm listening to music, my battery's going to last the entire ride or else I'm, you know, if I need to make a call, I'm still going to be able to use that phone. So keeping that phone warm, uh, just a little trick with that, that, uh, those little expandable hand warmer pockets. So kind of a neat trick there. All right, uh, I think that kind of covers most of the interior and the exterior of the jacket. Hopefully I can get this off of him. Kind of a similar story on the Togedy bib. Uh, lighter, faster, stronger. So the same material in the bib that we've used in the Valdez jacket. Uh, it's more durable and it's a little bit lighter and a little bit more flexible. And one thing that we incorporate into all of our bibs, I'm gonna flip him around here and there's not much to see, but we have what we call dry seat technology, and we've added another layer to the seat to prevent any moisture from getting through because that's the highest pressure point of, of the garment. When we're sitting, uh, that's probably the highest chance of ever breaking down the material and letting water get through. So we've, we've beefed up that area to make it last longer and prevent moisture from getting through. You can see right here, we've got an adjustable Velcro side strap on both sides. I really like this feature because I find myself wearing different mid layers and base layers according to the temperatures that I'm gonna be at. Sometimes it might be 40 degrees outside and I'm gonna wear the thinnest base layer I can and I'm gonna suck this up tight. Other days it might be 20 below, 30 below, and I've got the thickest base layer and the thickest mid layer on to add for insulation and so I might relieve the sides a little bit for some comfort. So I really like these Velcro straps here. You'll see we've got another D-ring uh, attached to the bib itself. That's in case maybe you're wearing a different jacket, a pullover or a light jacket and it doesn't have a D-ring, you still have your safety there uh, for your tether. Uh, adjustable straps across the top, uh, full uh, top zipper down the center. Okay, moving down the side here, we've got two hand pockets on each side. Can't see the other one, but there's another one over there. And then I'm gonna move all the way down. Actually, nope, I'm not. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna turn him and let you see the full side zip up the leg. Two things this is good for. One, you can add this, make this a vent. So on a warm day, you can zip that down a little bit and you've got a leg vent there. But you can also get the bibs on with boots a lot easier. So I find myself in a scenario where we're doing a destination ride, we're heading into a lodge, we're gonna eat lunch. When I get into the lodge, I wanna take the bibs off and relax in the warmer lodge. I don't have to take my boots off because I can run this zipper all the way to the top. I can fit my boots and I've got a size 13 boot and, and it still fits uh, through the bib and get it off without removing my boots. So that's a, that's a huge feature for me. Um, we'll, we'll move to the bottom here and show you this enclosure. We've had this system on a lot of our bibs in the past. We've got this gator system here with a snap at the bottom to hold it together. And then you'll notice we've got a strap that can be unsnapped, run through the D-ring on the boot. And then you'll notice there's another little stretchy uh, piece here. And this is made so you can run this up through and back around. And then that'll hold the ent whole entire bib down. So if you're standing in deep snow and the snow is trying to come up 
and, and pull the bottom of the pant up. Uh, this system is going to keep it down all the time because it's attached to the D-ring on the bottom of the boot. And that'll keep snow from getting up there and packing and bringing uh, the bottom of that up and making it uncomfortable. So just to talk through a little bit where I feel like these, the, the Togedi bib and the Valdez jacket are the most applicable. Um, in riding in a lot of different conditions, I, I really like this in the mountains because it's a, there's no insulation, so I can vary my mid-layer. Um, warmer days, I can take a mid-layer off. Colder days, I can go to a thicker. So mountain and trail where there's active riding, a lot of aggressive riding, these are really ideal. Um, snow bikes, you're taking branches all the time. These guys on the snow bikes, when I ride mine, you know, we get in the really, really tight trees. You're, you're taking hits with the branches. You need a durable setup so that it doesn't stab through. So snow bikers really like the Valdez and the Togedi outfit. Um, like I said, aggressive trail guys, mountain guys. We even get a lot of guys in the east that are doing aggressive trail riding that still want to run a piece that's durable and it's not insulated. So this works really well for that. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you watch this, leave us some feedback. Give us a comment. We love to hear what you think about these, what you think about the changes and the improvements. If you like it, tell us what you like. If you don't, tell us what you don't like. All that feedback is captured and we really like to hear it. Subscribe to our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, we, we love to see you there as well. We'll probably do a couple giveaways, so you might want to pay attention to that. Um, again, give us your feedback. Thanks for watching.